Um, the rolling back attack was a craze a while back, and I really enjoy that, but during the rotation, a lot of times they'll take my back or at least make it difficult, we'll, we'll roll. So I stumbled upon this as a way, one, because I was tired, uh, two, because I didn't want to get my back taken doing a, a rolling back attack, but also um, the way that I trap with the leg starts similar but the extension of the leg is something that I just haven't seen anyone else do. So you're going to see what I'm talking about. I don't want to say that I invented this, but it's, I definitely feel like I found a relationship with the leg and this leg that a lot of people haven't seen. So um, again, uh, into this position, quarter guard, he starts to step over. Now, it's not a mystery to me that he's going to start to stuff this leg, and I don't want him to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this foot, I'm going to hook the shin. Now, this is, is common in the rolling back attack series. Now, once I've hooked that shin, I'm gonna sit back and I'm gonna get heavy on top of the legs. One of the things that people do is they'll roll straight into the rolling back attack here, and that's good, but I've just found that this is a little bit better. I need this if you want the relationship with the leg that I'm talking about. So my second hand is gonna come in here, way close down towards the floor, and get good tight control. I'm gonna start to sit back. When you start to sit back, I want you to extend this leg right here. That's what will help turn him and set that second hook. Once you get the second hook, you can start to come in and choke almost, almost exactly like the, the rolling back attack. So again, I'm in this quarter guard position. You see that my foot comes and hooks to hold that shin. I'm gonna sit back, lay nice and heavy. A lot of times when you do this and you've taken the weight off of them, they'll start to come up. And it's totally okay to allow them to come up but you want the ability to be able to pull, transfer the weight onto the knee, and then when you extend, that's what will roll him over, right? Two, and control, one more time. So I'm in here, trap, back step, heavy. Sitting, pulling, extend that leg, set the hook. So what's a little bit different about this is that extension of the leg when you start to pull them up. Make sure that when you're pulling, they put all their weight on their knee, and then that will give you the ability to take control and turn their hip and back towards you. Make sense? Let's get it. One, two. 